Hey, what's up, ghouls and gals? It's me, Ryan T here, and I just got out of watching Mother. And the reason I'm recording this in my truck is because, wow, just fucking wow. I literally do not know what to think of the movie Mother. I do not know what I just saw. This, this is the first time that I can literally come walking out of a movie and not know how to describe it to you. Like, I know sometimes I say that and I'm jokingly around say that, but I literally cannot tell you what, what Mother was about. Well, I'm gonna attempt to try to tell you what it was about. Mother stars Javier Bardem, Jennifer Lawrence, Ed Harris, and Michelle Pfeiffer. And basically the movie is a kind of a, how can I put this? It's kind of like a allegory for God, for God and Mother Nature. If I have this correct, Javier Bardem plays Jesus Christ, or he plays a, a version of God, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence plays him a version of uh, of Mother Nature. Bitch, are you for real? And uh, the way, the reason that I think this is uh, this is how the movie is set out is because Jennifer Lawrence looks at Javier Bardem with this with so much awe and so much like just like she's so interested in what he has to say and she's just so awe stricken by him and Javier, Javier Bardem just kind of like ignores her a lot and kind of just like doesn't really like take her into consideration when he makes decisions just like in the beginning of the movie he lets uh, Ed Harris's character just like wander in and stay with him without even consulting Jennifer Lawrence's character which is his wife and so uh, that's one of the reasons why I think he may, may be God because uh, in this uh, movie they refer to him as a poet and that his words are so inspirational that they drive people from long and far away to come and visit him and uh, it, the movie just has so many instance, instances where it like kind of uh, alludes to the fact that he may, may or may or may not be God like he forgives him for doing these heinous fucking things and uh, Jennifer Lawrence is kind of like slowly like dying at, like after every horrendous thing that she sees she slowly like let, it chips away at her and it chips away at her soul literally chips away at her soul as the movie shows and uh, I don't want to spoil too much for you but this movie at towards the end uh, it just goes fucking insane it just literally goes crazy the last 45 minutes of this movie are just that this is why this movie got an R rating. I can see the last 45 minutes is what gave this movie an R rating. I was sitting through the movie and I was wondering, why does this have an R rating? I mean, there's kind of some messed up stuff, but not really. I mean, but then the 45 minute mark hit and then well, the 40, last 45 minutes of the movie hit and I was like, <gasps> I literally like sat in my chair like there was two separate occasions where I was like oh my god I can't believe they did that I, I mean like I said I literally walked out of this movie like scratching my head thinking like what the hell did I just see did I see a horror movie did I see a religious film did I see a thriller did I see what did it what did I see I mean for that moment for that for that alone I would go see this movie go watch this movie and get fucking like your mind boggled get your mind fucking blown walk out of this movie with a new outlook on fucking on fucking life this movie is I don't want to say that it's the best it's one of the best movies I've seen or one of the worst movies I've seen it's just it's a movie I mean it, it, I mean the Javier Bardem said it himself in the movie better than I could have said it he goes I simply am I'm I this movie is is, is, is movie it, it, it exists it's movie that's all I can say I mean uh, I know this is a little bit weird because I'm recording this in my truck but I didn't want to drive 20 minutes home and then forget all the stuff that I had to say about this film because you people need to go watch this movie this movie needs to be seen and um, I just really think that uh, if you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of just weird movies that make you think, you're gonna like this movie. But then again, I can see how some people won't like this movie. If you're not a fan of movies that you have to think of and you are going into this movie thinking it's a non-stop horror, like jump scares, the whole nine, it's not that movie. This movie is very slow burning. Like I said, it's a kind of a thinker piece and you kind of have to sit there and watch the movie. You kind of just have to like turn everything else off and just pay attention to the movie and focus on it so with long story short I really recommend um, mother or as I was saying mother I really recommend seeing this movie it's a great movie I suggest you go out tomorrow and watch it um, because I'm gonna have to watch American Assassin so I'll be reviewing that for you guys tomorrow and um, tell me what you guys thought about mother and tell me what you guys thought about the review and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, guys.